What's going on, guys? Shaggy from Scooby Doo here, welcoming you to another episode of uh, Road to Ranked. Uh, today, we're going to be fighting against monsters and demons from my favorite childhood TV show. Um, anyway, yeah. What's up, guys? I'm Wolf. Uh, I'm using the team that I used at the World Championships. Some some quick uh, note slash housekeeping. I don't know if that's the right word here. I've gotten some comments asking if I cut my hair. I didn't cut my hair. It's just back. I don't know if you can see. I just have it back because I don't like it in my face. Um, yeet. And then other things. Um, so this is the team that I brought to the 2017 World Championships where I placed top 16. I don't actually know if I got 15th or 16th. Um, I thought it was 16th and then somebody told me 15th. So if you could let me know, that would be great if you know. Um, yeah. Anyways, I'm um, using this team and uh, I will, I'll be using it for a few more episodes. I want to play some best of threes versus some world qua world qualified, world caliber players. Um, for example, Geo, I think I'm going to be doing something with and maybe some other people as well. It's a little difficult right now because I do have a roommate. Um, and like, I just don't want to record when he's around because I don't want to bother him. But um, yeah, anyways, I'll, I'm, I'm figuring stuff out uh, with the new situation. And yes, anyway, after... after Ruza Ruzaki, like Ryuzaki, but with Ru. Anyway, like, anyway, I'm going to be playing, oh god. Oh my god. Um, I'm going to be playing a few more games with this team, uh, but then I have an idea of, like, a variant of this team that I want to use, and it's really funny. So, um, yeah, keep your eyes open for that. I'm going to lead Arcanine. Um, I'm bringing Arcanine. I feel like Snorlax is probably needed here. Uh, Tepefini. Uh, Togedemaru Kartana. Kartana... Kartana Togedemaru. I think I need Kartana. Togedemaru is like way better against Magnezone. Um, Kartana is really not that good here, but the thing is, I don't see how I'm going to beat Mudsdale. I think I'm going to be really weak to Mudsdale if I bring Togedemaru, so I think I'm going to bring Kartana. Um, anyways, also other things. So I, I collabed with, uh, collaborated with Dan, aka your boy A Drive, on his channel. Uh, it's actually going up today, so you can check that out. Uh, I recommend you do. It was fun. Um, he's just a, he's a really good guy. Um, other things. This is a really scary team to play against, not gonna lie. Um, other things... What else is there? There was something else I wanted to say. Oh, Marcus is coming next week, so I don't know, how, like, I, my main priority is not making YouTube videos when he's here, it's like, showing him around and like, um, just like, having fun, but, uh, we'll probably be doing at least, you know, some videos. Um, anyway, let's talk about this exact team. So the reason this team is so scary is because Torkoal really, like, does a number. I can't predict my type of Fini, Lilligant. So, like, Tepofini is, like, one of the best Pokemon that can switch into, um, Torkoal, but with, with, uh, with Sleep Powder Threat from Lilligant and Tepu Lele canceling out my Tepofini, and also, like, with Lilligant just, like, plain threatening Tepofini, um, Lilligant Sleep Powder on Arcanine, if that wasn't clear. Uh, it's just a tough mashup, but, it, like, I feel like if I can get through the early, oh, god. Okay. Um, if I can get through the early turns, I, I have a chance, I think, of being okay. He should get, he should get, oh, god, he might, he might get a special attack, which would be really bad. Okay, he's fast. Uh, hmm. Um, this is not a game where I want to be belly drumming, I think. Let's see. Attack? Okay, whew! That was lucky. Uh, I didn't plan for, for that boost. Um, Temple Lily could be Specs here. It's faster than my Arcanine, which would tell me that it might be Taunt, Psyche, MZ. So I think I'm just going to switch to Tepu Fini here, overwrite his terrain, which is good, and launch a Frustration into Tepu Lele. It should do about 50%. Um... Like, as long as he's not super bulky, it gets my Intimidate off the field, it makes me win the Terrain War, it prevents him from switching in Torkoal. He could still switch in, um, oh, he didn't switch in anything. Yeah, so, just going for damage here, prioritizing, doing, like, a chunk of damage. Hopefully, he Taunts or Z Psychics into my Snorlax, because either of those is gonna be fine. Um, Z Psychic into Arcanine is gonna be pretty bad, but we're just gonna have to work with it. Oh, he switches Porygon 2 out, actually, that's weird. Into Mudsdale, okay, so this is okay. Um, as long as Lele, okay, just Psychic. Into... Arcanine. So this is talking about specs. It is specs, and I'm that's really bad, <laughs> to be honest. Okay. Um. Here's my thought. So, I could save Feeny and switch it out, but Arcanine is going to take a lot of damage. Um. I could. I could save Feeny. I could let Feeny go down. I'm going to let Feeny go down and launch a Muddy Water. And I'm going to launch a Belly Drum as well. Um. That specs, that specs Lele, so it's really strong and it can't protect. Um, I'm not under a lot of pressure from the Mudsdale into my Snorlax, and if he wants to, if he wants to be pressuring my Snorlax, he only has Mudsdale to do it. it it's possible Mudsdale has a Z move, which would be bad, but 
Um, the plan here is let Tepatini go down, get Cartana in for free, and then start pressuring things like that and get a belly drum up. Oh, okay, so it's actually that awkward speed tier in between my Beanie and my Arc 9, which is why my EVs are so bad. Um, but we'll take that. That's a lot of damage. That's heck of damage. Oh my gosh. Okay, Lele is going to use Psychic into Snorlax. Okay, so there's a lot of damage. Um, but even in the worst case, in the worst case, I guess I lose Snorlax here, but that's not the end of the world. He's going to go for close combat, actually, so Peony's making it through the turn. And I'm going to Belly Drum and fail, but uh, this I actually way prefer this position um, over like pretty much anything else because, yeah, he just doesn't... He I, I threaten KOs on both of his Pokemon at this point, and there's no way for him to stop Muddy Water, plus he can't even, like... Like, his best, what he's probably going to do here is switch Tapu Lele into Porygon 2, um, but that's okay. He, he might even have Torkoal as the last Pokemon, in which case, like, he just can't stop me from launching Muddy Water. So, like, he's in a really rotten position unless I miss, um, unless I miss Muddy Water, which is honestly possible, um, and, just, like, maybe should be accounted for, but because I locked into Muddy Water, I can't really do anything about it. He switches Muzzdale out, so he's going to let Lele go down here for free, uh, and I'm going to get some free damage on the Porygon. What's nice is that as long as Muddy Water connects with Lele... That's going to be attack, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, as long as Muddy Water connects with Lele, okay, cool. This is good because now he can't he can't overwrite my Misty, my misty Terrain, which means his Mudsdale is always going to be in range of, uh, yes, nice. His Mudsdale is always going to be in range of um, Extreme Speed, which is pretty good in my opinion. Um, yeah. Now, he most likely has Torkoal as the last Pokemon here. I'd be kind of shocked if it was anything other than Torkoal, based on the way he's been playing. Um... It could be Magnazone, it's unlikely to be rule again. But uh, letting him get Torkoal up is kind of threatening. We still haven't seen the Z-move yet. Okay, there it is Torkoal. So, uh, this is almost certainly Protect from Torkoal, I think. I don't see why it would be anything else. Um, so, I think just launching a Muddy Water here is fine. I, I don't really want to switch because there's not really a point of me getting Arcanine in, in just yet. Um, I'm intending to use Tapu Fini. Like, as long as Tapu Fini's on the field, he's forced to attack it with at least one of his Pokemon. So... I feel comfortable just leaving Tepo Fini here, and although I could go for Frustration, I still think Recycle is my best option. He's unlikely to be able to KO my Snorlax with um, Eruption. Yeah, like, I don't think even think Charcoal Boost Eruption is going to do enough. Oh, actually, he, so he, he... I have no idea what's going on, actually, because he's letting me get free damage on his Torkoal. And a lot of free damage on his Torkoal. Yeah, that crit might be... Oh, God. <laughs> I hope he erupts. That'd be really funny. Porygon 2 is going for Trick Room, we know, because Snorlax has sped Porygon 2. Just good to know. Heat wave comes out. Okay, I actually think I live this. Pushini. That did a lot of damage. That did a lot of damage. Holy cow. That's okay. Trick room comes up. So now I just I really can't see how he's gonna stop me from extreme speeding the rest of his team. It was pretty fortunate that um, I got the critical hit on the Torkoal. Um, though with that move choice from him, I'm not sure how much it mattered. I could save Feeny here, but honestly, I think. I don't think I need to. Um, I'm going to Frustration into the Torkoal because if Torkoal goes down, I do have Cartana as the last Pokemon. So um, with low HP Mudsdale and like, yeah. Also, he's at minus one accuracy on Torkoal. So yep, that could happen pretty easily. And Snorlax is guaranteed to underspeed Mudsdale. So um, this is a pretty rotten position for my opponent, I think. Yeah. So with Cartana in the back, I should be cleaning this up. He goes for recovery, which is honestly fine. I get another chance to lower his accuracy. I burn a turn of his trick room, and yeah, just not a good position for him. And I think this is going to lower the accuracy. I'm actually, I would bet $3 on it. Good thing nobody took my bet. Wow. Wow. Um, yeah, anyway, this game is pretty much over. Um, I think the real thing is that my Feeny outsped his, his Lele, and there was a turn where he could have targeted my Lele, and instead he went for Snorlax, which I don't disagree with. Um, like, I don't think it was a bad play, it just ended up, like, like, he might have expected my Lele to play defensive, um, and that, it just ended up costing him a lot, because that turn was the turn where, even though my, my Snorlax wasted an attack, I did, like, 40% to his Lele and 90% to his Mudsdale, and so, that was just, like, a lot of damage, and he never, he didn't, he didn't take a KO, like, he just did damage to Snorlax, which I ended up recovering off anyways, so, yeah, it was just, like, a, a rough position for him to be in. Um, and this is why I use Minspeed Snorlax, by the way, somebody asked me this recently, like, shouldn't I be faster, and, no, I like Minspeed Snorlax. Ice Beam comes out. We're in the sun, so he can't freeze me, which is nice. Still, yeah, I was going to say, that's a lot of damage. Um, I'll just, I'm just going to go for the attacks here, because 
Hopefully he forfeits. Okay, no forfeits coming out. Let's see what he does. She did a good chunk. Ice beam, cool. No freezes. As long as he doesn't crit, I will survive, which is good. No crits. Nice. <laughs> I was I was a little close, not gonna lie. I was definitely doubting myself for a second. Um and Flare Blitz and Sun is gonna put him down into extreme speed range. Um or helping hand or whatever I want. And it's unlikely that he's quick claw given I'm not doing enough damage. Anyway, yeah, good game to my opponent. Um, that was an unfortunate crit on Snorlax. I also got lucky that, I mean, on the uh, Torkoal. I don't think that mattered too much in the end, honestly. Um, but the not missing any money waters helped a lot, um, to be honest. Yeah. But yeah, I, I think the real thing was just that like, Feeny outspeeding his Lele. This is why my Eevees are so bad, because he outspeeded my Arcanine, but he understood my Feeny, which is, like, super silly. So, yeah, should definitely improve that. Um, but yeah, just, uh, Sun teams in general are kind of rough, but... What I do like about my team um, is that it's got pretty good matchups. So, like, it has tools that it can deal with sun, and it can deal with rain, and it can deal with kind of, like, off-meta teams in general. Like, it's obviously not all the matchups are perfect, and there are things that are, like, troublesome and problematic, but um, but I appreciate that I don't, like, have a sun weakness. It's just kind of, like, a scary matchup because they have so much they can do. But just, like, the bulk between, like, Arcanine and um, Snorlax and Tapu Fini just gives me a lot of wiggle room, in my opinion. Oh, my God. Are you kidding me? It's going to be like Assault the Sky Drop Coco and like Z. Oh my god, I literally can't do anything to stop. Oh wait, I have Mimikyu, never mind. Oh wait, that doesn't even help though, does it? Um, This is a terrible matchup. This is so scary. I actually know, I'm going to be, okay, I'm going to be real with you guys. I don't know if this is a terrible matchup. It's just super scary to play against. Um, I want all my, I, I really want Togedemaru here as well. Wait, maybe I don't want Mimilax. I'm going to go Mimilax because at least it's going to threaten his Trick Room um, Pokemon. I really want Togedemaru here. Like, if this were 2 out of 3, I would probably not do this game 1. But because I don't know what he's going to do, and it's only best of 1, I think my best odds of winning are try and, like... Like, Tapu Fini is so good here, except for Torkoal. And Togedemaru is, like, pretty nice here as well. Like, it hits 2 Pokemon for super effective, and it ignores Coco. And it gets Fake Out, which is, like, really useful, but... Yeah, I don't know. I'm just doing this. The idea here is that this is like pretty clearly a hard trick room team. Um, he also only has one Pokemon that outspeeds Mimikyu, and he can't sky drop my Snorlax. So, um, Togedemaru might scare off his Tapu Koko, and um, it's, it's probably Mental or Guru, like to be honest. But oh god, wait! If he leads Torkoal, if he leads Torkoal or Guru, we're gonna be in trouble, like big old trouble. Let's see. If he goes Torkoal or Anguru, it's going to get really bad really fast. Let's see. Okay, Crocodile Celestila. Uh, I don't really know what to make of that, honestly. He's led two Pokemon that are weak to Intimidate. He's not led either of his Trick Room Setters. Uh, I'm just going to Z Destiny Bond. Uh, he could Z Ground me, he could Z Dark me, he could Taunt me, but um, I'm most likely going to outspeed this Crocodile unless he's like Jolly or unless he's Scarf. Um... And this will let me go for, this will like kind of let me scout. Because honestly, if Snorlax gets in Trick Room, it's not, it's not too bad for me. Okay, I go first, I think. Yeah, Ghosties. Okay, so Taunt, Roar, Dragon Tail, Z Ground, Heavy Slam, all that stuff, Leaf Seed is all going to be redirected into my Mimikyu. So, um, I think this is a good, this is a good start. But we'll see. He could go for like Roar, I, I don't know, actually, he can, I don't think Celestial learns Roar. Ah, he could do that. Yes. Oh, okay, yes. I bet. I literally will bet this is Heavy Slam. I bet this is a Heavy Slam and he would have KO'd my Celesteela. And then I bet I flinch. Okay. I would have KO'd Celesteela if he had connected. Isn't that silly? I, I'm so upset. If he connected Rock Slide, it would have literally KO'd his Celesteela. Flinch? Okay, wow. Unexpected. Um, I'm just going to Frustration the Crocodile. Oh, I should Recycle. He got, he's got Torkoal. I should recycle. I don't want to recycle. I want a frustration. I mean, I want a trick room. I mean, no, I want a frustration. But I should. I should recycle. I'm, I'm going to be responsible. I don't want to, but I'm going to be responsible when I recycle. So the idea here is that if he didn't have Torkoal, I would just trick room frustration. But here it comes. This shouldn't This shouldn't do that much. This should do like 60 maybe. I guess Crooked is pretty strong. It might, do, it might do more. But I should live. I think I should be okay. I could have switched Mimikyu into Arcanine. That might have been better. I was kind of being hasty. Um, But that's okay. I've got plus six lax. As long as I don't get KO'd this turn. Let's see what happens. 222 all the way down to... Oh, God. Yeah, it's a lot. Heavy Slam comes out, so we might lose Mimikyu this turn. Okay. 
cool. So I could have taken both KOs if I wanted. Um, but then I wouldn't have. Then I would have. I wasn't sure if he would heavy slam or if he would leech lead. Um, so I went for trick room because I figured it was safer. I could always reverse it next turn if I wanted, but yeah. Um, I do get recycle up here. Who do I want to send in? I wonder what the item is on that. Um, on that Araquanid. I'm gonna get Feeny in here. I want Feeny. Uh, because if he brings in Coco, we might have a bit of trouble. So I'm just gonna go for Feeny here. Or in Guru, actually. Okay, so. Um, I don't know what to expect, honestly. I'm gonna Moonblast the Crocodile. And I'm gonna Frustration the Orin Guru. Um, pretty much the only way in which this goes poorly is if. Is if he goes for like crunch and then instruct crunch KOs or something. I could also switch. I could switch. I could switch Feeny into Arcanine. Maybe that's better. I don't want to let him get Trick Room up. I'm gonna I'm gonna move the Cougar Dial. And I could protect, actually. I'm gonna do that. I think he's probably got Okay, so he didn't protect Cougar Dial. Oh he's probably gonna Earthquake Earthquake. Why did I protect? That was so stupid. Oh no, Wolf. Oh no, I second guess myself. It's super slow, Crocodile. Of course it's slow, it's Trick Room. And he's slower than Nineke. Oh no, don't Trick Room. Okay, so like, instead of winning the game, I've instead decided to throw caution to the wind. And maybe lose. Um, really questionable play by me. If I just frustration like I wanted to, I, I, I read too deep. Um, we're still okay, this should be Torkoal. Okay, now we have to play the game of, does his Oranguru have foul play? I hate Oranguru, and we're just going to have to hope that this isn't Specs Torkoal Eruption. If it's Specs Eruption, we definitely lose. As long as that KOs my Snorlax. I just protected, so I can't even protect. Um, well, hope this works. It might be Specs Eruption. I feel like it, it's like not, oh my god. Here it comes. Oh, I played so bad. Why didn't I Frustration? Why didn't I KO? I, I literally said I don't want Trick Room to go up, and then I immediately went for Protect Moonblast. Alright, please don't KO. Please don't KO. Come on, Snorlax. Be Charcoal. You don't want to be Specs Eruption. That's super bad. Okay. Woo! Please die. Okay. Okay. Crit did not matter. I guarantee it. Crit did not matter. Let's see what he does. Instruct. Okay. Woo! Okay. Woo! Woo! So scary. <laughs> So scary. Okay, so we won against two Torkoals. That was... I hate I hate Torkoal. It's so stupid to play against. Anyway. GG to my opponent. GG to my opponent. Yeah. Cool team. Um, Super scary. I hate... I, I, I hate stupid... The worst is making a Destiny... Like, this has happened twice now where I've made Destiny Bond play and they've doubled my Mimikyu and they've missed the first move with Rock Slide. At least twice. I, I only remember twice. Um, yeah. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. If you like this video, uh, please make sure to leave a like. Uh, so that way I feel good about myself. Um, yeah. Uh, like I said, check out the collab on A-Drive's channel. I don't know if it's up yet. If it's not up already, it will be up later today. Um, he's a great guy. And yeah, check out more of his stuff. Um, I'll be playing a few more games with this team on Battle to Spot. I'll be playing some games with, with friends, doing best of threes. And I'm also going to be using an updated version. Not an updated version. I'm going to say like a variant of this team, which is like... Not as good, but like way funnier. Um, so we can get some pretty, some pretty funny battles there. I don't have the mods yet. It's gonna take me some time to get them. So um, once I have that, and once I feel like I've played enough games with this team, then we'll do that. But yeah, thanks again for watching. Please subscribe if you aren't subscribed, and I'll see you next time. Peace.